What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is Codextual, and we're going to be talking about Fortnite and how to get minimum to no lag or no lag whatsoever. So before we begin, that this video is targeted for PC, Xbox, PS4, Nintendo Switch players. I've already done a video for mobile. Uh, link will be in the description for that. Anything will be in the description uh, for your resources. But I feel like for all you mobile players, you guys should still watch the video because this will be very beneficial for you all. So without further ado, if you guys can do me a big solid is to go ahead and subscribe towards the channel hit the post notifications and make sure you hit that like button whenever i go live uh if you guys have any questions uh live stream that is if you guys have any questions feel free to come right through and ask all sorts of questions and i'll be more than happy to help you guys out um and share this with all, all of your social media also go to youtube.com slash games i also live stream on that and post all my highlights and or twitch.tv slash so okay let's go Go ahead and begin with the video again um this is going to be targeted targeted on all platforms generally and if we can stop right here for just a brief moment we're going to start with the basics and how to do this how to do that some people may not know so i'm going to be covering everything then we're going to be working the way towards the advanced settings so i'm gonna again i'm gonna be covering everything and i just want you guys to watch the entire video through and uh, I, I can't recommend that enough so okay um we're gonna go towards our settings here and the generally this should look all the same on all platforms you can mess around with your graphical settings um do that if you can take off your v-sync on your computer go ahead and do that but if you start seeing rips and tears then turn that back on uh we're gonna go ahead and move towards the matchmaking region now right here it says auto 28 ms so ms means millisecond it's also known as latency or ping the higher the number the horrible it is for you so you want to keep that number low the lower the number the better you can't have zero because unless if you're on a local network and you're on a fortnite servers locally then you can get like zero or actually probably one or five anyways so if we move over towards asia or brazil or oceana you start to see that my numbers are going up higher because i am in america and i want to be on american servers so we want to go towards like uh na east or na west um to keep the numbers low but you want to make sure your matchmaking region is in your specific area but just keep it at auto it's always going to be at auto so that's just the basics for that is matchmaking region and messing around with your graphics okay so now that's out of the way let's talk about um if you're on wi-fi um i i know that not everybody can be on a hardwire connection but if you could do it ethernet cable is better than wi-fi and I, I get it wi-fi is um it's it's very very convenient for everybody but however there's so many problems with wi-fi and i'll post a link in the description about how much why i hate wi-fi and how to speed up your um xbox and your ps4 i i have videos on how to make your download faster on your xbox and ps4 and whatnot so you should watch those videos as well again everything is going to be at your disposal here disposal dis disposal excuse me disposal here uh, just to make everything better and i just want to make sure that you guys have an awesome gameplay okay so that's the basics for that okay um having a hardwire connection or checking out these other videos of how to speed up your um, xbox and ps4 so without getting into that we want to look at a couple other things so we're going to be moving on to different platforms so you guys can know what it looks like so however i'm on pc what we want to do is if you're on computer go to ip uh, config and we're going to be looking for the gateway so our gateway is 10.0.0.1 yours might say 192.168.1.1 or 0.1 um, and I'll show you guys how to get that on the console here really quickly okay so now that we're on our Xbox what we want to do is hit the guide button uh, go all the way to the right where there's the cog setting and we want to go to our settings so go ahead and hit that then right here we want to go to network then network settings and we want to click on the advanced settings 
And right here, it'll show us our IPv4, IPv6, DNS. So what we want is the gateway, which on the right, it says 10.0.0.1. Yours might say 192.168.0.1 or 1.1, whatever your gateway numbers are. Um, that is your router's IP. So go ahead and bust out that phone or go on your computer, go to the web browser. And as you were to type in facebook.com, just type in 10.0.0.1 or 192.168, whatever your gateway numbers are. Plug that in and you will be connected to your router's web page. So that's where you can make the settings here. Alrighty, now that we're on the PS4, what we want to do is go towards our settings, which it looks like the toolbox right here. Go down to network, then hit on view connection status. And right there, it shows us the information of our system. So it shows the IP address, which you're going to be needing and the default gateway. So the default gateway says 10.0.0.1. What you need to do is whatever number that is, put that into your phone web browser or any web browser and it'll take you to your um, router's web page. And this is where we're gonna start port forwarding here. Okay, now after showing you how to go to the proper settings on the Xbox and PS4, how to get your IP address on your PS4 of what is being assigned from, what you need to do is go to the gateway, which I've also shown you, it could have been that 10.0.0.1 or 192.168.0.1 or 1.1, whatever your gateway is, plug that into your phone or on the computer onto the internet browser, and it'll take you towards your modem. Now, if it asks for a username and password, go towards your modem slash router and look for a sticker that says administrator username and administrator password. And uh, it should give you that information. If you don't know what it is, then ask um, a family member if they might have changed it or just um, go to Google, type in the model number, the manufacturer and type in default password. So, for example, if we were to um, type in, for example, if you have Linksys, right, you want to type in your Linksys and the model number right here and a default password and it'll give you your username and password so there's that so for example i'm going to be messing around with my modem slash router which is the xfinity here and we're going to be sh i'm going to be showing you how to port forward on that if you have linksys and or netgear i'm going to be showing you it on all these three it's very easy um, if you have a different manufacturer i will have links in the description for any resources again so um, you want to give it a name. So we're just going to say if, for example, if you're on Xbox, which I will give all the ports that you need. So we're going to be doing the Fortnite ports. We're going to be doing Xbox ports. If you have Xbox or even if you have PS4, if you're on the PC, then you don't really need to worry about Xbox or PS4. Just worry about the Fortnite ports. Um, so, okay. Um, for example, we're on Xbox, so we want to do the 3074, and we're going to go ahead and plug that in. We're going to go ahead and type in our Xbox IP and whatever the Xbox IP was. And if you have the IPv6 address, go ahead and plug that in. If not, that's completely fine. Now, um, starting port is going to be 3074. And it's saying TCP and UDP. So TCP and UDP. And uh, again, type in 3074 and go ahead and hit save. Um, then just plug in the rest for this. And it says UDP. You can do TCP and UDP, but you just you can just leave it at UDP when you. Um, Let's mark down here for that and do the same thing for the Fortnite ports. Just make sure you plug in the IP address of your console. So that's how you do it. Now, as for Linksys, um, people, we want to go towards our application and gaming. And right here, it will take us to the um, port forwarding. So it could be a single port or it can be a port range. And this is where we're going to name the application. So again, Xbox, you're going to put in, uh, you know, 3074, then 3074. And it's asking for the protocol. So is it TCP, UDP, or is it both? Go ahead and hit both and just put in the Xbox IP right there. Make sure you hit enable and save settings and just apply all the settings with the Fortnite ports as well. So 
that's pretty straightforward. As for the net gear, uh, this is a little bit of an older model. Uh, we want to go down to the port forwarding. Uh, does this one have it? I don't think this one has it. I just did, uh, I just Googled net gear emulator and I just wanted to show a, how to, how to port forward on a net gear. If I can quickly find a demonstration. Just, okay, so basically, let's go Let's go back to this landing page. On the left, it will say port forwarding on the left here. And it's basically the same thing of what I showed you. It's, you're not really missing out. And again, um, I have a video of how to port forward and how to even change your IP addresses on um, Netgear, Linksys, and all that whatnot stuff. So there's that. So make sure you guys port forward, and this will be in the description as well. So um, one last thing. I've made a video about DNSs, and basically a DNS is a dynamic name server. Um, or is that right? <laughs> now I'm questioning my uh, knowledge. Uh, DNS. It's. I'm pretty sure it's dynamic Oh, wow. 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 I feel retarded. Okay. Well, domain name server. I was close. So basically a domain name server is we all have one. Now, if uh, check out the videos down below and um, it, it talks about how to speed up your Xbox, how to speed up your PS4. But I'm going to show you a brief breakdown here on the next clip. And uh, so you guys can get caught up. And as for the DNS settings, as I said, uh, please do watch the videos um, in the description about how to make your Xbox or PS4 a bit faster. So right here is the DNS settings and where you're going to be changing the DNS settings. So what I want is go to the manual and type in one dot one. Oops. dot one dot one and we're gonna hit enter and as for the secondary is gonna be one dot zero dot zero dot one and right here, our DNS has changed and we are connected to the Cloudflare's DNS. We can even connect to a Google's DNS, such as the 8.8.8.8. And as for the secondary, 8.8.4.4. And this will route towards their DNS, making it to closer to a lower latency or a lower ping, um, basically no less lesser lag. Um, and that should help you out again watch that video to get more of a visual demonstration I show that I was getting a horrible download speed until I made the DNS change then I was getting a faster download speed so Check that out and I'm also going to show a visual here on the ps4 Okay, as I said, um, I do recommend that you guys watch the video below. I do a demonstration of when I change the DNS uh, to the to a different number, it shows before and after. So before it shows how slow my download was, then after it definitely show how faster my download was when I changed my DNSs. So this is something that could definitely help you out and you can benefit from. So uh, give that a peep. And right here, if you want to show, um, if you want to know how to change it, all you got to do is just go to Setup Connections, and we are on a Wi-Fi or LAN, so pick one or the other. Uh, we want to do Easy, then it's going to, actually, no, we want to do Custom, excuse me, then IP address is Automatic, then Do Not Specify, then the DNS right here. You can change that to Manual, and we're going to change the primary to 1.1.1.1, then as the secondary, 1.0.0.1, then just hit Next. So that's basically it. All righty, guys. I just want to let you know if this was helpful, please go ahead and subscribe. Again, if I'm live streaming, come through, ask me questions, or come game with me, either or. That's what I'm here for. Uh, that's what I live for, and I love helping out people. So, yeah, I hope to see you guys in the live stream or in my next video, and y'all take care. Peace. What's up?
Yeah, I'm back on my shit again. Chasing Benjamins, grinding till the very end. Yeah, every day I'm feeling great. Better than the day before, and you can see it on my face. Smiling with my glasses on, like I'm blind to all the hate. I can see all of you waving, I'm just 